Hey everybody, it's Dotted D. I just wanted to show off some of my builds. I'm in the mood to build another one and I feel like I have too many plots, so I don't wanna buy any more. So I'm gonna demolish one of them at least. So this is um, my Japanese steakhouse that I built. The exterior um, was inspired by a YouTuber. I will put their name and a link to the original video in, uh, in the description if you're interested in seeing some of their other builds. Um, but I am not an exterior designer, so I really needed some help. <laughs> so um, that was a cool video. I got my little open and close sign here. Um, and then you got your lobby here. I don't know who filled my water pitcher with milk, but I didn't feel like <laughs> changing it for the video. This is a little reception area. I made the hostess desk out of a roof so that I could put a sign on it. Um, and then the bathrooms here. I love using these particular fences for bathroom doors. I just think it's, it's the perfect design. And then like the little half wall there. It's so, like semi-privacy. Um, and you saw the little toddlers there. So it's family friendly place. You got a changing station and a little port, little potty for kids. Um, this is a little waiting area here with lovely Japanese decor and a tea room. Just another area for waiting if it ever got really full or anything. Um, I thought about building one upstairs, but I decided to get to it. <laughs> so here's one of the dining rooms. Something I didn't like about um, eating, like doing role plays in Bloxburg, is that I often ended up alone. So I decided to build one where single diners could all eat together in the same room. Like so, kind of like in the hibachi steakhouses where they all cook in front of you and you sit with other parties if you guys come. So you see it's seat six and, um, and you can fire up the grill like that. Pretty cool. You know, and there's a light switch there so that it kind of mimics like the realism of it. When the cook turns on the fire, you know, it lights up the whole room. Cause they, they totally, they'll turn off like the grill light and stuff. <laughs> and they'll start the fire. And then just for giggles, I also put some Tabasco there in case, you know, the cook doesn't know what they're doing and they burn the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I gotta save electricity here. Uh, but yeah, I made two rooms so that I could serve up to 12 people at a time. If one area, you know, they got too far into their dining experience, I could also start another group. This is actually an update since the last time, since I recorded this before, I think it was like, it was just this, it was like, just the sink, these counters, some music, back when we could play whatever music we wanted to in the fridge, and like that was it. But I've since added some, no, the fryers were there because I, I wanted to have sugar donuts since, yeah, so those are new because they didn't have sugar donuts when I recorded that. Um, I have tea and coffee here. You can get your uh, ginger salad or your miso soup. And then the waiters have access to easy drinks. All of the drinks here. Um, this place can run with about three people successfully, which is something I like, you know, small staff, because um, it's usually hard to keep like a good amount of staff here. And these stairs, I would, like I said, I was going to build an upstairs, but I decided not to. <laughs> That's my little painting area there that I just, I closed off access to by moving the stairs. And there you have it, my Japanese hibachi steakhouse build. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please tell me in the comments below or like the video or share with other Blacksburg players. Um, if you want to see it, if you say this is not one that should be demolished, <laughs> definitely 
leave a comment. Um, I'm D times three. I don't add strangers, but I have other builds that I want to show you guys. Um, so just let me know that you enjoy this one build. So I know I should continue uploading. <laughs> Bye.